The movie begins with a street motorcycle racing scene. There is a man named Li Yun Xiong. Yun Xiong always managed to beat his opponents and be victorious. Then there was a girl named Kasha. Kasha is his best friend, who he considers his own sister. Soon after, Yun Xiong saw the racer he had just defeated turn out to be a beautiful woman. He went to her to ask her to get acquainted, but she ignored him and just walked away. A moment later, a strange masked man approached Yun Xiong and Kasha. He asked Yun Xiong to help repair his motorbike that was there, but Yun Xiong ignored him and just left. The scene shifts to Donghe City, where Yun Xiong lives. The city was ruled by the Dei clan, one of the fourth strongest clans. So, in the past few years, water has become a treasure in the city. Only the rulers and the rich can get clean water easily. The scene then shifts to Yun Xiong. Here he worked as a courier for illegal goods in the city. One day when he was delivering a package, Yun Xiong sabotaged the Dei clan's water pipes. This caused a water leak. Because of that, ordinary people could get water easily. While working at their base, Yun Xiong and his friends come across a kitten that was thrown away. Then he picked up the kitten and carried it away from that place. At night, Yun Xiong went to a bar where Kasha worked as a singer. Afterward, he gave the kitten to her and they went home together. Meanwhile, in another place, a prince from the Dei clan was seen who was the son of the ruler of the Dei clan. On their way home, Yun Xiong and Kasha accidentally met the prince of the Dei clan. Apparently, the prince was interested in Yun Xiong's motorbike and intended to buy it, but Yun Xiong refused and left him. After that, Yun Xiong went to her father and brother's house. Yun Xiong's older brother is named Jin Xiong. While having dinner with his father, he disapproved if Yun Xiong continued working in the illegal business. Hearing that, Yun Xiong became angry and left them. Yun Xiong, who was alone, was approached by her brother. Unlike his father, Jin Xiong really cares about him. Jin Xiong, who works at the police bureau, constantly reminds him to quit his job. When returning from his father's house, Yun Xiong and Kasha were followed by several people. It turned out that they were the prince of the Dei clan, along with his army. Yun Xiong, who knew something was wrong, spurred his motorcycle to escape. But the prince did not let him get away with it, and a battle between them happened. Yun Xiong, who was already very adept at riding a motorcycle, managed to overthrow the prince's men individually. Even the prince was helpless against it. Then he attacked Yun Xiong with his ice magic, causing Yun Xiong and Kasha to fall off his motorbike. The prince even had the heart to kill Yun Xiong's cat he wanted to give Kasha. After that, he was about to take Yun Xiong's motorbike and left with his troops. Suddenly, something happened to Yun Xiong. He got up, and a burning fire came out from all over his body and he attacked the prince. The attack had even managed to injure the prince's hand. Seeing that, the prince and his troops decided to leave Yun Xiong. Meanwhile, Yun Xiong fainted after using his mysterious power. From afar, it could be seen that someone was watching Yun Xiong's battle with the prince of the Dei clan. The scene then moves to Dei clan's residence. It can be seen that the prince is trying to heal his wounds, but it is in vain. On the other hand, the Dei clan advisor, who knew about the incident, reported it to his boss. Meanwhile, Yun Xiong, who was in the hospital, finally woke up. He coincidentally meets the woman he beat in the last race. It turned out that the woman was one of the doctors working at the hospital. Her name is Dr. Su. Dr. Su said a masked man brought Yun Xiong to the hospital. After that, she started to examine him. But when the bandages were removed, all his wounds healed. However, the strange thing that happened to him was not only that. Suddenly all of his sensory abilities began to increase. Yun Xiong then thought of Kasha and looked at it. But he couldn't do anything when he saw Kasha's unconscious condition, especially when he knew that one of her legs had to be amputated because of being hit by his motorcycle. A moment later, Jin Xiong came to see Yun Xiong at the hospital. At the same time, the Dei clan boss came to meet him and his troops. Surprisingly, the Dei clan boss apologized to Yun Xiong for his son's behavior. He gave Yun Xiong gold so that he would forget what had happened to him. However, Yun Xiong, who was angry, refused the Dei clan boss gift and left them just like that. After that incident, Boss Dei ordered his counselor to kill Yun Xiong. Meanwhile, Jin Xiong tries to calm Yun Xiong down and tells him to try to reconsider Boss Dei's offer. But suddenly, an assassin envoy from Boss Dei came to attack them. Because of that, Yun Xiong and his brother tried to escape. Unfortunately, they couldn't run anywhere because they were surrounded by people they didn't know. It turned out that the people who chased them were not ordinary assassins but a jellyfish demon lady and a fish monster. Yun Xiong, who was helpless, was almost killed by them, but again he released his firepower, which succeeded in burning the jellyfish demon. Suddenly, the fish monster was still alive and almost attacked him. At the same time, the masked man, who had helped Yun Xiong in the past, killed the fish monster in an instant. After that, Yun Xiong asked who the masked man was. Then he replied that they had known each other before. Soon after, he called Yun Xiong as Nenza, and then he left. Meanwhile, Yun Xiong quickly brought his injured brother to the hospital. 
The scene then changed to the Day Clan headquarters. At this time, Boss Day shows his true identity to his son. It turns out that Boss Day is the Dragon King of the Eastern Sea. He had the same injuries as his son. In fact, his wounds couldn't heal for more than 3,000 years. It turned out that Yun Xiong is the reincarnation of a god named Nenza, and the wound he got came from Nenza. Meanwhile, Yun Xiong meets the mysterious masked man who saved him yesterday. Then, he explained to Yun Xiang who he really was. He explains that Nenza has never stopped incarnating in every generation since his death, and now Yun Xiang is his reincarnation. Afterward, he told Yun Xiang the true identities of the Day Clan boss and his real son. Meanwhile, in another place, the Dragon Prince knows that he was killed by Nenza in the past. His father uses all his strength and attempts to forge a steel spine to bring the Dragon Prince back to life. Unfortunately, the wound made the prince's memories of his past disappear because Nenza's strength was too strong. For the past 3,000 years, Boss Day and three Dragon Kings have united to defeat Nenza. It turned out that Nenza's soul had escaped from the Celestial Palace and was incarnating from time to time. And for the past 3,000, Boss Day and his clan have kept watch over Donghe City and killed anyone they considered Nenza's reincarnation. After Yun Xiong's departure, the masked man had a guest. Surprisingly, it was the Day Clan boss. It turned out that they already knew each other. Then Boss Day asked the masked man to kill Yun Xiong, and he said he would reward the masked man with a lot of gold. However, the masked man did not accept his offer and said he would consider it first. Meanwhile, Yun Xiong, looking after Jin Xiong at the hospital, found his father, who was very disappointed in him. This made Yun Xiong get his past memories. It turns out that his old self as Nenza also didn't have a good relationship with his father. That made him subconsciously unleash his strength and almost set the hospital on fire. Because of that incident, Yun Xiong went to see the masked man and asked him to become his teacher so that Yun Xiong could control his powers. At first, he refused Yun Xiong. Then Yun Xiong said he would help modify his motorbike. Hearing that, the masked man agreed. Soon after, the masked man took Yun Xiong to his private workshop, where he began to train Yun Xiong to control his firepower. Yun Xiong then made steel armor that could control the power of his fire. Even when he practiced every day, he never forgot to visit his brother and Kasha. Then he made an artificial leg to help Kasha walk. One day when he felt he could control his strength enough, Yun Xiong challenged the masked man to fight. With his fiery lance, Yun Xiong brought out all the results of his training. Their fight was so intense that the man's mask fell off his face, and it turns out that the man is an ape demon. The ape demon then introduced his true self. He claims to be six years Makak, but Yun Xiong instead accuses Makak of being a cunning swindler. Hearing that, Makak felt angry and provoked him by saying Yun Xiong was a person who always brought problems and disaster. Yun Xiong, who was provoked, accidentally took out his god Suzano, but he couldn't do it when he wanted to bring out his god power again. Makak then told Yun Xiong that he couldn't bring out that power anymore because he had not yet fused with his god body. However, to regain Nenza's full power, he must get his Ostra back, namely the Sky Ribbon and Cosmic Ring. Meanwhile, the advisor from the Day Clan was still keeping tabs on Yun Xiong's movements. One day Yun Xiong at work was visited by Dr. Su. She informed him that his brother had recovered, and he asked Yun Xiong to help repair his motorbike. But suddenly, a group of Day Clan assassination troops came to kill them. One by one, Yun Xiong's friends were beaten on the spot. Yun Xiong, who had been cornered, was almost killed, but luckily his friend Little Six came to save him. The attack that almost hit Yun Xiong just now came from the Day Clan counselor, who turned out to be a toad demon. Having no choice, he was forced to release his firepower in front of his friends, and they fought each other. Unfortunately, the difference in their strength was quite large, and they almost got Yun Xiong killed. Fortunately, the power of his god Suzano appeared and in a short time, Yun Xiong directly defeated the demon until it was scorched. The scene moves to the Day Clan headquarters. There was seen a friend of Yun Xiong named Ling who turned out to have betrayed him. Ling offers to help the Dragon Prince to injure Yun Xiong, but he wants something in return. The next day, Yun Xiong went to see Kasha who was still being treated. Every time he saw Kasha, he always blamed himself. Dr. Su then went to see him and tried to calm him down. She tried to encourage Yun Xiong, but Kasha, who had woken up, saw them together. Because of that, she was angry. With anger and disappointment, Kasha left them. She chose to be alone and wept over her situation. But she accidentally saw Ling enter Little Six's room with suspicious behavior. At that place, Ling was trying to take off Yun Xiong's armor, but suddenly Little Six woke up and saw all of his actions. Without thinking, Ling smothered Little Six with a pillow until he died. Unfortunately, Kasha, who saw the incident, was caught by Ling. With all her might, she tries to escape from him and asks for help from anyone. Suddenly, the place exploded because of the bomb. The hospital began to be attacked with a rain of bombs. Panic engulfed the entire hospital while Yun Xiong tried to save everyone. He realized the attack had come from a monster emissary of the Day Clan. 
With a sense of anger, Yoon Xiong issued Nenza's god Suzano. At that time, his father saw Yoon Xiong change and finally realized who his son really was. Shortly after, Yoon Xiong tried to intercept the bombs that were headed toward the hospital one by one. However, his armor was suddenly damaged, making him lose his balance. Sadly, the bomb he tried to block fell into the hospital and blew up the place. Seeing this, his anger rose even more. He started killing the Day Clan troops one by one. But the problem didn't end there. A female demon appeared and attacked him. The fight was unavoidable. Finally, Yun Xiong managed to defeat the female demon thanks to his firepower. After that, he went to the hospital room to check the condition of everyone inside. It turned out that all the hospital occupants survived except his father. His father looks like he's dying. At the last moment, his father said he was proud of Yun Xiong after seeing what he had done. He asked Yun Xiong to continue fighting for others, and he died after that. Seeing that, Yun Xiong could only mourn over his father's death. Again with anger and vengeance in his heart, he avenged his enemy. The scene changed as Makak came to the Day Clan's headquarters because he got an invitation to a party there. At that place, he was very surprised to find two water demons working in that place. He realized that these two demons had caused Donghae City to experience a water crisis. Soon after, Boss Day threatens the water monster to continue working with him by holding the water monster's son hostage. Boss Day did this because he needed a large supply of clean water to perfect his strength. Boss Day then asked why Yun Xiong had grown stronger and not died, as they had agreed. Suddenly, Makak tries to evade this by making all kinds of excuses. Unfortunately, Boss Day already knows that he's the one who has been training Yun Xiong all this time. Suddenly, the female demon who once attacked Yun Xiong appears and attacks Boss Day. However, he could dodge it. At the same time, he finally catches Makak using his magic ribbon. Not long after, someone appeared at that place. It turned out that person was Yun Xiong, who had managed to enter because he had thoroughly slaughtered all the Day Clan troops. He attacks them. However, his movement was stopped by Boss Day's magic ribbon. However, Yun Xiong's anger and vengeance were so great that the strength of the ribbon wasn't strong enough to withstand it, and it was destroyed. This shocked Boss Day. Boss Day, who felt that his strength was not perfect enough to defeat Yun Xiong chose to retreat. However, the Dragon Prince refused to go with his father and preferred to fight Yun Xiong. A battle of ice and fire ensued. The Dragon Prince then transforms into his true form to fight Yun Xiong. Even though there was a difference in strength between them, Yun Xiong continued to try hard to resist. Then, he was cornered. Thanks to the hatred and anger in his chest that was so great, Yun Xiong was able to issue Nenza's god Suzano and managed to control it. Then he pulls out the Dragon Prince's steel spine, instantly killing him. Suddenly, the previous demon lady came again, and she tried to attack Yun Xiong. Seeing that, Six Years Makak, who realized this, thwarted the demon lady's plans. He easily paralyzed her with his small stick. Just as Makak was about to kill the demon lady, Yun Xiong stopped him and asked who the demon was. Makak replied that she was a crimson cloud demon, a disciple of demon Siji. All this time, the demon lady had a grudge against Yun Xiong. It turns out that in the past, Nenza had killed her sister. Then she started to provoke Yun Xiong by calling Nenza a troublemaker, hearing that made him remember his past. It turned out that in the past, Yun Xiong had opposed the Sky Palace of the Gods and his parents. Realizing what he had, he asked Makak to release the Demon Lady. Hearing that made Yun Xiong think back to his past. Yun Xiong then asked why Makak always helped him. Makak then explained that he used to be good friends with Nenza, and he finally showed who he really was. It turns out that he is the legendary king of Monkey Soon Gokong. Go Kong explains that the red ribbon used by Boss Day used to be Yun Xiong's Ostra. He said that the hole in that place was connected to the East Sea under a waterfall on the seabed, and that place was the palace of the Dragon King. The Dragon King can find all the river dragons in that place. He uses its strength to increase the power of the Dragon Pearl. But the problem is that the river dragons need clean water to survive. That's why Boss Day absorbed all the clean water in Donghe City with his previous water monster power. The Dragon King uses Nenza's ribbon to bind and confine the dragons. But Gokong said that Yun Xiong couldn't do anything about it. He said Yun Xiong couldn't even use the other ribbons because Nenza's power would only appear if he was completely enraged. Then he said Yun Xiong wasn't the real Nenza. After that, Yun Xiong returned to the hospital and apologized to his brother for everything that had happened. Suddenly, Ling appears and incites everyone. He said that Yun Xiong killed Little Six and all the chaos in that place. However, Ling forgot that what he had done to Little Six was seen by Kasha. Suddenly, Kasha comes to them and tells them the truth. She said the person who killed Little Six was Ling, and he was the one who damaged Yun Xiong's armor. Everyone who heard about it was mad at Ling. However, Ling quickly pointed a knife at Kasha. Luckily, she could step on his feet and escape while pushing him to fall into the sea. At his father's funeral, Yun Xiong felt very guilty about everything that had happened. But Jin Xiong and Kasha encouraged him so that he would not be sad. 
Yun Xiong then got up and decided to go to the palace of the Dragon King and kill the Dragon King and return the water to their city. Elsewhere, Dragon King can only give up the departure of his son who was killed by Yun Xiong. Sometime later, Yun Xiong prepared to go to the palace of the Dragon King, but on the way, he was attacked by several water demons. Luckily, Yun Xiong managed to escape thanks to the help of a shark which brought him to the palace of the Dragon King. At that place, he saw the Dragon Pearl being prepared and the water-absorbing monster tied with his ribbon. Yun Xiong tried to untie it, but his current strength was still unable to untie it, and suddenly the Dragon King appeared at that place. Suddenly, it turned out that Dr. Su was caught by the Red Cloud Demon and taken to that place. Knowing that, Yun Xiong tried to fight back, but his attacks looked like nothing to the Dragon King. After that, the Dragon King took out his god Suzano and attacked Yun Xiong. However, Yun Xiong didn't give up so easily, especially when he saw Dr. Su being in danger because of the Red Cloud Demon. Afterward, the power of his fury shot out, and he instantly killed the Red Cloud Demon and burned the Dragon King. Because of that fight, Yun Xiong was exhausted and looked hurt. The water monster, who saw his condition, helped heal his wound. Unfortunately, the Dragon King was suddenly alive and killed the water monster. He was already in his true dragon form and instantly ate the Dragon Pearl. Instantly the dragons who were locked up were released and headed straight to Donghe City. Yun Xiong, who saw that, did not stay silent with all his might. He pulled the ribbon that tied the dragon's cage. Unfortunately, the ribbon burned and made all the dragons in the cage manage to escape, resulting in a tsunami in Donghe City. Everyone in town is seen trying to save themselves. Meanwhile, Yun Xiong was already helpless and was about to be killed by the Dragon King. However, he did not want to give up. With extraordinary fury, Yun Xiong released all of his terrible firepower to burn the Dragon King and his pearl to ashes. After that fight, Yun Xiong was in critical condition. Then he woke up in his spiritual realm. There he met his god's body. He was almost dead when he was still thinking about the people in Donghe City. Afterward, he asked his god body to save the people there, and something amazing happened. Suddenly, Yun Xiong came back to life and succeeded in returning his Sky Ribbon. With the power of the Sky Ribbon, he stopped all the water dragons who wreaked havoc on Donghe City. Finally, the tsunami that hit the city began to recede and the city was safe again. Soon, Yun Xiong and Dr. Su returned to the city and were greeted by Go Kong. He tells Go Kong that he is the real Nenza and the film ends. The moral that can be learned from this movie is to listen to our parents' words more and love them because we don't know how much time we have left to be with them. Besides that, Yun Xiong's attitude of never giving up and continuing to fight to the last drop of his blood is amazing. He teaches us with effort and hard work, someone can be successful.